What internet marketing expert should you spend your valuable time listening to? Listen to someone who has over 20 years of web marketing experience and hundreds of website marketing success stories. That man is Aaron Sparks from Site Strategics. And this is Edge of the Web Radio. All right. Hey, we got an article from Forbes. This is by Jason Demers. There was an article, uh, this article re- it just came out, recent, recently signaled to me that the mainstream marketing is actually beginning to see the efforts that we in the SEO profession have known for a long time. Now listen to this. Recently, an, art- an individual contacted my company, threatening to build thousands of links to my website if we didn't pay him $250. Well, the question you may be asking is, why is that a bad thing? Why wouldn't you want to have thousands of free links to your website? Aren't links good for SEO? Well, they are, aren't they, Tom? They are. It depends if you get good links. Well, I, good links? Wait a minute. What's We're just the playing difference? the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, schemes like this, unfortunately, are an aspect of an emerging emerging trend that we're seeing when it comes across. It comes to negative SEO. Now, for everybody uh, just joining the SEO front here, SEO is search engine optimization. It quickly, it's a way to groom your site to be found favorable in the eyes of Google. And part of this is is taking care of your own content on the site, making sure it's it's categorized logically mm-hmm. and structurally sound and in compliance with what Google's looking for. But on top of it, another factor that has been an ongoing factor is the inbound, almost like the credit report, mm-hmm. from the rest of the Internet bolstering and pushing, sending, setting value of your domain. That's kind of like who you know or who knows you. Well, over the years... But this has been a, a, a strong factor of of passing value, and uh, you know, over, there has been changes in how Google actually perceives this. I mean, campaigns like what we're talking about used to point thousands of poor quality spammy links to a competitor's website have been have been used in an attempt to cause their search engine rankings to plummet. It's all about who you know who. Who you're linked by, mm-hmm. and if you're linked by a huge amount of terribly valued websites, yep. then by association, you're actually going to be pulled down as well. See, the reason these links can damage search engine visibility is due to the Google Penguin algorithm. That was an actual algorithm change. It's a metric on how they measure the value of a domain. Um, that that was actually released the first algorithm change was was in uh, 2012 2012 uh, of april 2012 that's yep. when penguin came through and there's a lot of a lot of companies that actually went out of business i had to change the name to make sure that that they they got away from some of these these bad efforts it, it, unfortunately a lot of companies a lot of websites got hit because they were hiring companies to build links just for an entire number of links mm-hmm. pointing to a domain. Unfortunately, that started turning sour as soon as that Penguin algorithm came through. See, that detects and penalizes websites that have too many manipulative or spammy inbound links, which is seen as an attempt to manipulate the search engine rankings. So years ago, link building was all about getting as, as many inbound links as possible, but now it's a focus on quality and, and relevance. Uh, more, more has always been better, uh, yeah, yeah, and such an entire industry sprung out of accommodating people's insatiable desire to have more links. But now, the same networks that actually have been building links all this time are now turning around to companies and saying, "Hey, we've got an entire." network of poorly valued or de-indexed links that have be- suffered penalties from mm-hmm. Google, and now we're going to use that to tank you mm-hmm. unless you pay us. Now, what do you think about that, Tom? I mean, that's uh, <clears throat> it's a, it's a dirty industry, and uh, I mean, we'll talk about later how to mm-hmm. com- combat that, but uh, I mean, if you're one of those people, shame on you, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Hopefully... Your, everything you own gets tanked in Google, so not, nothing will even happen, and you'll go out of business. You know, in one, in one fell swoop, shame on you. Shame uh, on you. In one fell swoop, Google reversed the effectiveness of quality-based link-building schemas. Now, rather they're, they're than helping rankings, they have the opposite effect. Unfortunately, it was also now possible to negatively affect competitors' search engine visit- visibility by performing the same tactics that were used to help rankings before. And this is... 
how negative SEO has been born. So what does Google have to say about these campaigns like this? Are negative SEO threats something that webmasters have to worry about? Well, back in 2012, Matt Cutts, who's the head of web spam at Google, actually had a Google Webmaster video talking just about this. And he pretty much said that they have Google has safeguards mm-hmm. that, that to prevent person A from hurting competitor B through spammy backlinks. Now, they said they have safe safeguards. They also, Matt said, Matt said also, that mom and pop websites shouldn't worry about it. It's not a big concern. Um, I'm going to differ with Matt Cutts. Um, <laughs> Um, here, right on the, on the show. I, the fact of the matter is that we've seen it happen. We're right now in the trenches, Site Strategics is, is in battling these particular efforts of some of one of our clients, especially, but a number of clients have been hit by negative spam uh, SEO tactics. Mm-hmm. And in fact, one in particular, let me tell you about this. We've got one in particular, one client that we, we so there's, there's a lot of ways that we can see links, mm-hmm. okay? And whenever you look at a link profile, almost think of like like uh, like a great uh, like a spiral, right? Of different quality links. And then they, and the further out the 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 spiral individual spires, uh, the better quality that page has. And the closer to the the link uh, the the main site, maybe it's a little bit lesser lesser value. But there's a gra- the gradient of a lot of different types of mm-hmm. links coming into any any shared page, right? Mm-hmm. Well, we have we have been seeing an unnatural pattern of quality of links to to the degree it almost looks like bands on a tree of the different values uh, 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 mm-hmm. associated to these domains is all completely manufactured and we're seeing more and more being set up and pointing towards our client's domain mm-hmm. and on top of that they're changing the anchor text collectively through all these different pages so no longer were they known for or they are they known for what they were known for for now because of the amount of link text that has changed they're now known for effexor which is a was a heart drug yeah it's some sort of heart medication but yeah any looking through our our backlink profiles there's anchor text like buy effexor yeah sell effexor what are the effects of effexor and mm-hmm. there's hundreds of different anchor text links that uh, this company is using to attack our client and if people don't know the anchor text of the link is probably the most important part of the link because it's letting Google know, hey, this what what we're linking to is about Effexor. Right. And so that that's how those links with those keywords, Effexor prescriptions, Effexor. You're creating a reputation. Yeah, you're creating a reputation around the term Effexor right. and our client's website. So the 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 the, the, the em- enormity of links and they, all, all the, they skyrocket. They're like five thousand links mm-hmm. overnight, and they all have these different levels of of value. Mm-hmm. And most of them are de-indexed. Most of them are, are penalized by mm-hmm. Google. They're still out there, mm-hmm. and they're still known, and they're passing some negative trash terms that are completely outside of what the industry is that my our, that our clients are in. So what do we do? Well, if you're a victim of SEO. And if you believe you are, you can you can see inside of your webmaster's tools uh, whether or not you've been manually penalized. And we've had an entire slew of shows about how to remove yourself from the manual, ma- manual mm-hmm. penalty. But we'll actually talk about what those steps are to to counteract this. You got to first find out whether you have been hit, and then some steps real quick uh, of of what we can do about this. Well, we're going to continue our discussion here uh, about negative SEO. We're going to pick up where we left off. What what if you are a a victim of negative SEO? And for for those of you who are just tuning in, we're talking about uh, there's a there's a there's a there's a mercenary group out there that are a, that are pointing bad links to websites in order to take them down mm-hmm. and do that for profit and they're exploiting the Google penalty uh, that's out there that that and Google's doing it to promote good linking but in but in turn there's now a new industry that has actually evolved to be able to pass bad association to websites and your competitor may have actually done that and you don't even know it. So well, what do you do if you if you are a victim of that? How do you know? Well, you go into your Google Webmasters account. If you don't have one, you got to set one up. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you 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 see if a manual action has been put against you. If so, 
then you need to make sure that you're using all the techniques that are that are inside Google Master, Webmaster's guidelines. Uh, if that if it, if it doesn't appear that you've had a manual action taken, you need to use the disavow tool to tell Google to ignore the links. Now, before anything else here, how do you know what links you have, Tom? Uh, well, there's several different tools. I mean, Google Webmaster's tools will give you a list of all mm-hmm. the links that they know you for, but there are other links out there. Uh, other tools out there that will give you other types of links. We use Ahrefs, yeah. uh, Cognitive SEO, yeah. OpenSight Explorer, uh, Link Research Tools. There's a bunch of them that we can use to kind of get a whole scope because not one tool is going to be perfect. No. And so we, we use multiple tools to get as many links as we possibly can, and then we go through one by one and uh, see which links are legitimate, which ones mm-hmm. are spammy. Uh, and then make a list from there, and then we submit that list to dis- the Google Disavow tool. See, it's kind of, this Disavow tool thing is kind of like a, a filter list that you are providing to Google. Mm-hmm. It's one document that you're providing Google, and you can put in links and take out links. It doesn't mean that those links disappear online. No. Those sites are still out there. And the link will still be there. And But you're, what you're doing is you're kind of doing a reputation check. It's like, you know what, Google, yep. I trust you here. Please do not associate us yep. with any of these sites out there. I've got this crazy uncle out there. Don't, don't <laughs> make him know. He's nothing like me. It's the same thing. You know, <laughs> exactly. Those links out there, they're not related to me, so don't give me any credit. I say that a lot of time about my brother-in-law. So <laughs> um, so the, the, the fact of the matter is you you can you, you upload this this sheet to Google, um, and, 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 that, and at that point in time, is it immediate? No. Mm-mm. You need to pay attention to your ranks, so you need to make sure you're tracking your ranks prior to this, making sure that you're seeing all your relevant uh, uh, search engine rankings, and you also need to to kind of set the time frame of posting this and then seeing what's happened. But these tools are very valuable to give you a reputation review, so to speak. And if you ever want someone to just do a quick snapshot, we can certainly do that. Give us a call at 317-882-8500, Site Strategics, and, and we'll be able to, to do that snapshot real quick. And we can pretty much tell right off the bat whether or not you've got some spam associated to you. You know, if you receive an email threatening your site, okay, uh, with, through a negative SEO campaign, I, we encourage you to just ignore the email. Do not do not ever transact with them yep. because that's just opening up to identity theft and everything else under the sun. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if you notice a sudden increase of the quality of inbound links, which is also another thing, you need to pay regular attention yep. to that. You know, it, it's it's just, honestly it's just like LifeLock, for example. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's a great tool to be able to see if somebody else is using your credit card mm-hmm. uh, or, or or you know this that and the other. Well, the same same thing applies. You need to monitor what happens on a monthly basis because sometimes yep. something just explodes and that means that somebody's doing something malicious to you. You know, if you know if you've been impacted by by uh, looking at you know, you know what the was the home page impacted, what the sub pages impacted, or is it a combination of both? You need to track your Check your traffic a- analytics and your webmasters tools and see if anything has mm-hmm. turned down to a, to a sizable degree. Yeah, another another easy way to combat this is have a lot of good links. So if you're producing a lot of content that people are sharing and interacting with and, yep. they're, and they're giving you good links with your good content on your website. Yeah, absolutely. So to finish up here, we're going to have a mess of really good links to go check out on Edge of the Web Radio uh, to give yourself a little bit of self-diagnosis. Uh, these things are free of charge, and uh, some are also paid paid things that you can get at least a trial membership to to be able to see the, you know, your health. Do that first. Check out. Go to the website. Down, you know, connect to these sites and give us give yourself a snapshot. If you have any questions, give us a call. We're always always willing to help because this is this just gives SEO our profession a terrible name, and and we are working to push back against that onslaught on a regular basis. So always give us a 